Hi, hi, hi everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope you're doing amazing. Hi, my name is Alexander Figueredo. I'm a brand and visibility coach and I help people, I help you to create a brand that you love so that you can be seen, be visible, really step out into the world and share your message in a bigger way. So I am simultaneously streaming on a few different platforms. So hi, (laughs) Uh, wherever you are, I'm so excited that you're here. So what I wanted to talk about today is how do we step into 2022 with a vision, with a powerful, uh, a powerful plan that we want to create and develop for this year. So I'm going to start with story time. (laughs) So, uh, oh, and by the way, if you enjoy this, I would really appreciate if you liked, maybe let me know what your biggest takeaway is. And that's Javi in the background. Say hi, Javi. He's, anyhow. Hi, Javi. <laughs> and um, and also, if uh, if you're not already uh, liking or following my page or subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you did, uh, if you enjoy this. Okay, so I'm going to start with story time. Uh, a little over a year ago, it was end of 2020, beginning of 2021, and I knew that I wanted to create a women's community. I wanted to create a, a place where women entrepreneurs could get together, we could um, network, we could collaborate, and we can learn and grow together. And so I made the first iteration of that was called the Abundance Circle or Abundance Circle based on a technique that I have called the Abundance Technique. And it was a learning experience and it was beautiful and lovely and I had a lot of fun and I learned so, 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 so much, but it wasn't quite the right fit. There was a lot of fun in there, but there wasn't as much of the business aspect. And so even though it was a great community, there was some pieces that were missing because I wasn't really, I wasn't really meeting the needs of my uh, of my audience of my community and it's interesting because now I'm, i mean i've been doing this for years but uh i really like to follow this guidance which is that listen to your audience what do they want what do they need what are their pain points what are their goals or challenges or desires and really lean into that and provide content provide services that can really support that so I tried to create some other iterations of this community and it just didn't, it, again, wasn't the right fit, didn't work. And so what I ended up doing is that I let it go <laughs> and I moved on to some other things. But there was always this, oh, and I'm feeling emotional saying this, there's, there's, there was always this desire still. And I've had this desire now for a few years. There was this desire to really create this amazing community. And one day, the end of 2020, uh, I'm sorry, the end of August 2021, so just a few months ago, I did this powerful visualization. And in the middle of the night, or whatever it was, I don't remember, it was sometime, uh, I had this visualization of this group called Visibility Vixens. Wasn't visibility, wasn't visibility vixen, was visibility vixens. And I sat with it and I, you know, for the next couple of days and weeks, I was like, that's really interesting. I knew that there was something really interesting about that. And the thought didn't go away. So I was like, okay, so what's, what's up? So I really leaned into it. And then within like a month, I was just, I knew that I needed to do that. Javi, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. No, he doesn't. He wants to go out. (laughs) All right. So I'll make this, I'll wrap this up quickly because I got to take Javi out because he's like, take me out, take me out. So I, I leaned in, I created some programs around that. I did my first challenge around that. And um, hi, so happy that you're here. So happy that you're here. And I, I ended up creating, uh, creating this community and really leaned into it and created a bunch of awesome platforms and programs. And, um, and that was just a few months ago. And now we've got the Visibility Vixens Inner Circle. We've got the Visibility Vixens Club. 
And so this was just over a few months. And so, and it feels right. It feels good. It feels like the right fit. It feels like because it's only been a few months, I feel like this has been in existence forever, right? Like it feels divinely inspired. And I bring this up because I'm going to go through five steps now in a second of, of how to create that, that 2022 visibility plan. But I bring this up because I could never have imagined this back in December of 2020, January 2021. I could have never imagined this a year ago. It was because I leaned in and, um, yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Cause I leaned in and really went for it and, and surrendered it. Cause I knew this was part of my dream. This was part of my vision that I decided that, um, or that this, that this came to me, you know, I, I really feel like it was divinely inspired. I could have never thought of this on my own. I really, it, it was something much bigger than me. And so I bring this up because we have to start with a vision. We have to start with what we want, a dream, intentions. We need to know where we're where we're going to start with that so that we can so that we can really manifest the life, the business that we want. So I'm gonna go through five steps and then I'm gonna share with you an event that's coming up on Monday that you can attend if you um if you so choose because it's gonna really support. I feel like it'll support you. So if you really want to create a powerful plan for 2022 to grow your visibility, to step out into the world and really be all that you are, which I believe you are, then follow these steps. Okay. So the first thing is connect to your vision and your mission, right? So for me, having this women's community was part of a greater vision that I had, part of my bigger mission to support uh, to support entrepreneurs and to ex fully express myself and allow other uh, other women to fully express themselves. So that's the first thing. Connect with your greater vision and mission. Then the next step is to reflect on what's worked over the last year. And if you did stuff before the pandemic, right, then reflect on maybe the last few years pre-pandemic, what's worked in your business. Because we're, we are eventually going to open up Things are going to go um, somewhat back to, you know, more of the online, uh, offline, in-person types of events. And so um, if you want to do, I did an entire little, uh, not little, I did an entire video just on reflecting back on 2021. I will link that in the comments. Uh, I will link that to this video. Um, but yeah, see what worked. What worked? And what didn't work, right? Let's bring into this year what worked and let's either tweak or let go of what doesn't work, right? It was uh, Einstein, I'm going to botch the botch the exact quote, but he said that doing the same thing over and over again is insanity. That was a paraphrase of his quote, <laughs> right? So if you're doing the same things over and over again, it's not working, then try something different. Tweak it or let it go. So the third step is to you know, make a mind map, brainstorm all the things that you want to bring into 2022. Are, do you have a vision to grow your social media following? Do you have a vision to do lives like I'm doing, like maybe weekly lives? You have a vision to create a book to share your message. What it is that you want to, um, to do to get out there in the world? What is it? Make a list of that. Then the fourth step is to narrow it down to a few, right? I like the rule of three. I just learned about that recently. The rule of three, pick three things, narrow it down to three things and see if you can prioritize those three things. Not to say that you can't do all the other things, but if you narrow it down, then you're going to have more focus, more energy, and more attention on those things. It's like, you know, if you have, I mean, just think about any area of your life. If you're focused on more than three things, it's really, really hard, difficult, challenging to really give a lot to any one area. Um, so if you've got more than three things going on. So then the last thing is to take this list of things that you want to cre create and um, wh what you're leaning into, what are the different strategies you're doing or you want to do in 2022 and then break each of those three top three things down into actionable steps. Because I don't know if you've 
ever experienced this, but I used to test set new, new year's resolutions and never worked <laughs> for me. And so it's because we try to do zero to 60. We don't try to go through like little bits and pieces, actionable steps. We try to do it all in a short period of time. And that's just typically not really feasible for us. So that's the, those are the five steps. And as I promised, I, uh, I am hosting a, an event. Uh, it's a workshop on Monday, January 17th, and it's called Create Your 2022 Visibility Plan. And I'd love for you to join. It's free to attend live. So if you join us, you can go to um, subscribepage.com slash 2022 visibility plan. And I'll definitely have a link in the comments as well uh, or in the description for you to join. So that's what I've got for you today. Have a wonderful rest of your week end. And I hope to see you soon and um, have an awesome day. Hope to see you on Monday. And if you are interested in joining us uh, and joining this community, please, I would appreciate if you like this video, if you uh, joined, subscribed, or followed me. And um, so you're notified of any time I go live or any time I post any content uh, related to this topic. All right, everyone. Have a blessed rest of your day. Mwah! Bye.